There is an emerging form of therapy called uh, hippotherapy in which a patient is put on a horse and uh, they ride around the woods and there is a connection between their mind and their body that really assists people with musculoskeletal disorders, uh, people with emotional disorders, autism. A lot of people unfortunately don't have access to horses and can't really drive 60 miles out to a ranch, especially uh, elderly people and children with a lot of mobility issues. So having an actual device like this in the home gives them the opportunity to get the benefits of hippotherapy without actually leaving their homes. This may look like a toy, but it really isn't. Um, it's a horse simulating device. The pelvis movement of a horse is really similar to that of a human's. So by riding a horse and giving it the same stimulation that it gives when you're riding a horse, it can help people with motor disorders to regain their ability to walk again. The main difference here is the controllability. So in the quarter machine outside of a grocery store, it only has one motion. You put the quarter in, it moves back and forth a little bit. But our device, you can control the speed, you can control the intensity, you can control the type of gait, and um, we have all of that routed through our microcontroller. We really try to make it so that kids, it's very intuitive for everybody to see. Like We wanted it so that when people see it, it's very obvious that it's a horse. And so we decided to go ahead and add the little head to it, and it makes a sound too. <laughs> Yeehaw. Yeehaw, yeah. We got this project at the beginning of the year from ground zero. It was just uh, an, a base idea and we started as three mechanical engineers and one bioengineer with essentially no electrical experience, no computing, no uh, computer, computer science knowledge. So we focused the majority of our time and effort on building a solid structure. Moving forward, potentially next year, we're going to have another team of maybe all electrical engineers and all computer scientists working on this to take it to the next level and make it uh, controllable so that a physical therapist can then take it and use it in her clinic.